Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe. So in today's video, I will be doing a twist out. The one I promised you guys months and months ago. I don't even know if any of you care. I've already shampooed and deep conditioned my hair. I've already shampooed and conditioned my hair. Um, I did use the Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter Shampoo. Um, so I will show you guys the products I will be using for today's video and then we can get on into the twist out. So for my leave out, I will be using the Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter Leave In Conditioner. This one right here. And for my cream, I will be using the Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. Here. Um, and then for my gel, I will be using the Extreme Gel. It has become my favorite. And then in the end, I will use some biotin and collagen oil treatment, just, you know, to have an oil to lock everything in for moisture. Before I start the video, I bought this brush. Um, I've heard good things about it. It is a Tangle Teaser. Um, so I will be using that in this video today. I'm going to start with this back section here. I think what I'm going to do is... For each section, I'm going to split it, and then this will be two twists out, this will be two twists out, so it will be two, four, six, eight, so it will be about 16 um, twists, that is what I'm going for. Um, so I will do this first section with you guys, and then I'm going to speed up the rest, so let's get into it. Let me add some water. It's honestly not dry or anything, but I've learned that applying products to my hair when it's really, really wet is like the best option for me. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wet this section and I'm going to split it. Actually, I'm going to add the leave-in to this section. I just did like a quarter size amount of leave-in. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, it smells really good. This leave-in conditioner and then the one by Mayel are my two faves. Just gonna split this in half. I'm gonna take my brush. Start from the end because it might need detangling. Also, this is my first time using this brush. Ooh. Oh, my, okay. I don't know if my hair just wasn't tangled. But that is amazing. Hmm. If I'm looking down, it's because I have my mirror right here in front of me. My parts don't really have to be straight. So this is the first section. I already had the leave-in, so now I'm gonna add the curl cream. Just about this, this much. Just add that to that section. Here, hopefully you guys can see. Just run it through really good all the way to the end. Okay, now I'm going to add my gel. Try to get the roots as well. So I'm going to turn to the roots and just really drag it down so I don't have to add any more gel. And you guys, I want to straighten my hair, but I'm so scared. Honestly, like I'm so scared because, you know, some people, it could be that one time you straighten your hair and then you get heat damage. And I just don't want that one time to damage my hair. Okay, now I'm gonna add the oil. Just add a little bit. Put that on there really 
good. Try to get to the roots down to the end. And then I'm going to twist it up. Hopefully you guys can see what I am doing. But yeah, I want to get my hair straightened. I mean, I could probably do it myself, but I know I need to go to a professional. I'm gonna just curl the ends. It's the first one. Um, but yeah, I'm scared. So I'm just trying to get as much done as I can before he wakes up. I'm gonna twist it. I'm going to move on to this other section of this but I'm gonna speed it up I'll play some music for you guys and um yeah let's get on with it Okay, you guys, I am done, finally. Um, this took me a good hour to do. Also, if you hear my son in the back, I'm sorry. I am gonna go from a nap. Um, this is what it is looking like. I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow to you guys for the finish or for the takedown. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is what we are looking like. That's what this side is looking like. I'm gonna let it air dry as much as I possibly can and then if I get to where I'm like oh my god this is taking too long I will either diffuse it or I'll sit up under the hoodie dryer but this is what we have so I will see you guys either later or tomorrow okay you guys for this portion of the video it will just be the takedown nothing too serious um the reason that my hair is so crinkly like that is because I had them in like two little puffs for like a day and a half so we'll talk about that a little later in the video I want to point out if you twirl the twist in the opposite direction of which it is twisted it'll be easier for you to take it apart y'all look at my face just look at my face this was day one hair, so I don't really know what I expected, but honestly, I expected more than this. You guys, I just did this whole ending to this video, a talk through, and it has no sound. It has no sound. Also, ignore Malachi in the back. It has no sound. Because my microphone was not plugged in correctly. The show must go on. So I guess this is going to be a voiceover. The only clip that had volume. The only clip that had volume was the first clip. So. Please enjoy. I will be talking of course in the video. Just, just ignore that. Just ignore that. I actually kind of am upset about it. But it's okay. It's okay. Okay, you guys. We're going to try this one more time. It is now day three. 
here. Um, I wore it in a pineapple last night, so let's just see if we can make this look somewhat cute. I don't know. Did I come back to you guys yesterday? I didn't come back to you guys yesterday, but I'm here now. So let's see what we are working with. Anyways, okay, so this is what I have. Let's take this down. Actually, this is the first time that I'm wearing my hair in a pineapple. Um, yeah, my first time, my first time. So what I'm gonna do, get some oil, same oil I've been using on my hands. And just try to fluff this out. Like I said, this is day three hair. Yay for voiceovers. Anyways, um, this was day three hair. Um, it was still looking like trash, honestly. I'm very disappointed, honestly, in how this looks. Uh, I'm gonna try to finesse it, but mm -hmm. Jesus take the wheel. I was honestly trying to figure out like what exactly I was gonna do to my hair. I had no clue. I just ended up picking it out until I couldn't pick no more because one side was giving me ooh la la and the other side was giving flat. I did not understand that. Um, also, now that I'm looking at this, there probably was some pieces that needed to be unraveled even more. Um, so that was probably my fault. honestly did what I could with this hairstyle right here I'm actually telling you guys about the little the gap in the back like I had to finesse it I had to finesse it with a bobby pin um I just hate when my hair has that gap right there I guess when I put my products in I need to style it a different way up in the front but this is a finished look you guys I hope you enjoyed this video don't be like me make sure your mic is um, putting your camera correctly and yeah if you like this video subscribe share with your friends and i'll see you guys in my next one then i will sit under the diffuser the diffuser okay it's okay it's okay it's okay